I don't know if you guys remember this guy. His name is Mike Graney, and he was busted, uh, I think, in February earlier this year, over taking uh, secretly taking pictures of his staffer's body parts and saving it on his computer. It was discovered because he asked her to use his computer to finish a project, and she discovered pictures of herself. Disgustingly enough, and um, ever since then they've had a bit of an investigation and detailed about this. But as that happened. Other uh, uh, state senators down there in Nebraska also spoke about their issues. Let's watch some of this. When something like this happens to you, if, if you haven't had something like this happen to you, you may not understand the gravity of the situation. And what happens is that your basic trust level of the world is disrupted. Then you start to go through in all your other interactions and you do risk assessments. Can I stand this way? Is it okay if I wear this color? And when, when you're busy doing those risk assessments about every little thing, you're not doing the other things you could be doing with your life. Forwarding your career, getting better at what you're doing. So there's an outsized effect when someone you trust breaks your trust. And you're having to do the work through no fault of your own, through nothing you did, of having to rebuild that trust that you can, in my case, take a cab again. That the next cab driver won't attack you. Or your next boss won't. So that's the uh, reality of what people go through whenever they experience things like this. And the system pushes back on them and says things like that former mayor in Nebraska said previously of what was she wearing. It's very simple to say that and it's a lot harder to live it. But that's if you listen to people who've been through it. Now, let's go back to what, uh, um, that was Wendy DeBoer, by the way, who was brave enough to, uh, to tell her story when this all went down from Matt Graney. Now, this is what happened with this investigation about what went down. So first, what he did. Graney had served six years in the Nebraska legislature, and he resigned in February of this year. That was after these allegations surfaced that he had allegedly taken sexually inappropriate photographs of a female legislative aide. He announced he would resign after an online news outlet, Nebraska Sunrise News, reported that one of the staffers had filed this complaint after she discovered the photos, as I pointed out. Now, um, it's been concluded that it's been concluded that these weren't necessarily like illegal things he was doing and taking body pictures of his staffers body parts. So this report was issued on Wednesday and it concluded that his actions were wholly unprofessional and inappropriate. Hmm. And while all photos of the aide pictured her fully clothed, one labeled, one of the pictures he labeled was quote, rear tight and appeared to have been zoomed in on her buttocks. Attorney Tara Paulson, who had hired, who was hired by the legislator to conduct this investigation and while Grain's, Grainy's actions were inappropriate, she said that his actions were inappropriate and would have warranted him being disciplined or even fired in a private sector job. It was not unlawful. That's according to the legislator's workplace harassment policies. She said, Mr. Graney's actions can be best described as boorish, brainless and bizarre, especially for the workplace. And that was published on Tuesday. So Ravana, it was boorish, brainless and bizarre, but it was definitely not illegal to take pictures of your staffer and label some as rear tight. Disgusting pervert, I'm sorry, that is so heinous. And what that woman was saying is exactly right, right? So I worked from my senior year of high school until a couple years ago, a job. And at that job, there was someone who didn't work in my department, but worked there, who I caught taking pictures of me because the place I worked at had a gym in it. I caught him taking pictures of me in the mirror. He took videos of me while I was walking down the hallway. Um, he would sometimes corner me when I was alone and you know, put his hands up to the sides of me so I couldn't move and make me feel extremely uncomfortable. And I knew from other people who worked there that he was making very sexually inappropriate comments about me. And it just makes you hate your job. And I loved my job. I worked with kids, I loved what I was doing, but I dreaded going to work. I learned his schedule so that I would know what days I was safe. <laughs> but the days that he was there, I had to know like, okay, I can't be in the room alone. I need someone to be with me at all times. You know, I have to be careful about what I'm wearing. You know, I can't and eventually it just became too much. So I decided I was gonna file a sexual harassment report. But 
he is best friends with the person who investigates those claims. Uh. So everyone, every step of the way told me it's fruitless, don't do it. The other women who he had sexually harassed in the past said the process is deeply embarrassing because it's going to amount to nothing because he is best friends with this person. So you're better off just keeping up a system of watching your back than trying to go through the administrative process of having this dealt with. And it was awful. And I know that I am far and away not the only woman who's had to experience this. Unfortunately, I think it's one in four women has experienced workplace sexual harassment, if not higher than that. It's it's an absurd number of women. And, uh, and it's just a reality that we have been forced to deal with because there is such little accountability for the men doing it. And then anyone who pushes back on it will be described as, what are you, a feminist Nazi? Are you coming up like this, this? Look at this assault on my rights. I can't say hi to you. It all gets downplayed and changed. So if, and then of course, you're in a position of making sure that nothing happens there. It's such a typical story. And if we had to go through this, as many fellows who don't understand this type of position had to go through someone cornering them, the Bitching and complaining that would go down, screaming from the rooftops, I can't believe you do this to me, you can't do this to me. What do you think I am? It would it'd be outrageous, the level. But if we have to talk about it from the other side, it's what are you complaining about? I'm just talking about how I like you. Okay, sure, sure, sure.